son of a bitch. Well, remember about a week ago, maybe it was two weeks ago, I told you that I was gonna close my shop down, I was gonna close it down and be done with it for four days, but uh, we ran into other problems. The problem is that we had to stop working on the coop and start working on this. Believe it or not, the bodywork that you see right here, this bodywork right here, right here, uh, this was four days, this was four fucking days. Both corners of that fucking trunk were rusted out. This thing was uh, rear-ended at one time, it was a rear-end fucking situation, and we had to do all this bodywork up underneath this lip right here. There's even bodywork up under there, I, I don't know if you can even see it, but that, that's bodywork that said, hey, that's four fucking days. <sighs> and then of course we started on our, uh, our quarter panel here, because we had to replace the bottom of this fucking quarter panel. <sighs> It's just a fucking big joke is what it is. It's a big fucking joke. It's a joke that says, this is chaos. This is fucking, this is fucking bullshit. This is something that says, you know, I don't under fucking stand here. I got too much fucking work in my shop. I got way too much fucking shit going on, but I got two fucking cars. I got to get the fuck out. And this fucking Mustang right here, this fucking cocksucker right here, the 69 Mach 1. This is one of the fucking cars I've got to get out. This car's been here way too fucking long. It's been here longer than expected. I, I, I feel bad about it. I feel bad that this car's been here this long. I feel like it's, it's fucking starting to be uh, a horror story or something. It's starting to be a fucking situation that says it, it, it's getting old. It's getting fucking old to be here and I feel fucking bad. But we're getting it done because this is all I'm working on. I'm working on this and I'm working on that fiberglass kit car coupe. I, I'm trying to get it done and I'm gonna get it done because getting it done is what it's all about. Uh, it's gonna get done. It will get done. Because it's done back here anyway. This is done, ready for primer. Yeah, that's done. That's done. Son of a bitch. So here we are right here now. We're over here on this side of the shop and we're looking at the coupe. We're looking at the convertible, the, the fiberglass kit car that's been here a long fucking time. That's been here longer than we want. And what do we got here? We got glass. We got door glass that says, put me in the fucking door. I, I want to go in that door because the sooner I get put in that door, it's just one step closer to the fucking thing getting out of here. That's what it's all about. It's about getting this cocksucker out and, and, and doing the job that it takes. One man operation style situation fucking cocksucker bitch motherfucker situation that it is it's uh, driving me fucking crazy here drive you see what i'm talking about just that kind of shit right there saying what the fuck but it's gonna get done. So today's Sunday. Today is a, it's a Sunday day over here at SWRNC, Sunday morning, and we're gonna work on the doors. We're gonna try to get the doors in the, in the convertible because that's the kind of fucking day it is over here. It's a day that says, I got to get this fucking car done. I got to get it done. I closed the shop down. The shop was closed down for four days and I didn't get it fucking done. So so now that uh, now that we got some of the bodywork on the, the fucking Mustang done, now we're gonna try to get these windows done. Hopefully get them done. If I can get my fucking welder in line and get it ready to go. Cause these fucking doors right here, these doors are not an easy fucking job. These are not fucking easy. This is a fucking job from hell, bitch. So we're back on our convertible, we're back on our kit car. Let's see if our glass, we just got done gluing the felt channel in and it looks like our glass is gonna fit really nice. 
So at least that's gonna work for us. Uh, we got a bolt problem here that's sticking out a little too far. Uh, we're gonna have to fix that problem. That ain't gonna fucking work. See this right here? You see this situation right here? This is what's slowing people down from doing shit is when you run into fucking problems like this. Yeah, it's just changing a blade out, but in the time that I change this fucking blade, I can already have this box open, and look what we got here. This blade ain't even any fucking good. The blade's no good, and guess what? I don't even have any more fucking blades. I don't even have any more because I've used them all. So for me to actually get a fucking blade, I would have to close my shop down and go all the way over to the hardware store to buy some more blades and come back. Is it really worth it? Is it, is it worth it to close the shop down and go buy some fucking, fucking blades? What the fuck, bitch? Here we go. What the fuck? Now the fucking phone's ringing. Now the phone's ringing. Fuck, I ain't answering the fucking phone. I got work to do today. Okay, I found a razor blade. But let's see what these fucking power windows are gonna give us. What kind of surprise they got in store for us to put in the fucking car. Fucking work to do. I can't answer the phone. I got to keep working. I was supposed to have this done in four days. It's not fucking happening here. What the hell? I'm going fucking crazy. Because this little job right here, that's an all day fucking job. That's an all day job installing these power fucking windows. It's not an easy fucking chore, pal. Bastard! The fuck, man? Bitch! Fuck! Bitch, man! Hell! Fuck! Jesus! Bitch! What the hell is that for? Son of a bitch! Now, what you're looking at here, what you're seeing is this is the uh, a universal power window uh, system that works very, very well in a, a kit car situation like this. All right, this here is uh, economical. I wouldn't say too economical. It's pretty fucking expensive for that. But the thing is, it, it's, it's, I'm used to it. I'm used to using this system right here. Uh, to me, it's an easy install situation uh, that requires some welding, of course. You've got to do some welding, but uh, once you get all that done, it's pretty much an in and out fucking cocksucker thing. So, uh, I guess we might as well start installing these. That's what we need to do and get it down the road so we can get this car out of here. All right. Well, we got our uh, windows installed. The windows are installed. Power windows are installed. We got the remote entry doors installed. I got the inside latch installed. Uh, we started our wiring job. Because we started wiring this up. When I say started wiring, we got some ground wires installed. It's getting installed. It's getting done. And uh, hopefully, it's going to be done. The windows. What about the windows? Those windows were not easy to put in. Windows on these kit cars are a fucking nightmare. Now, I could put them in easy because I've done hundreds of them. But if you're the guy at home, if you're the guy at home building these, building this car right here, and you're putting these power windows in, and you don't have a shop full of tools like my friend Pete's got, you're pretty much fucked in the ass, pal. Fucked in the ass, pal. Fucked in the ass, pal. That's your hot rod, your typical hot rod uh, window system right there. Your uh, pinch, if you notice, this is a real nice design that I use because it's got the, the pinch clamps right here for your glass to go in. Uh, real, real easy situation, nice fucking system to have, and it, it makes it pretty easy. Now, the way that you have to put them in on this car here, you basically have to weld the brackets in place. Uh, trying to bolt those in place and get it in precise, forget it. It'll never fucking work. Um, you got your motor down here, of course, and there's the motor down inside there. You can barely see it. Uh, if that ever has to be replaced, there's actually one nut right here. You can't see it, but it's down there uh, holding it in, and then the motor comes out pretty easy and uh, can be replaced with no time at all. But, uh, yeah, that's a situation right there. That's a situation that says, you know what? The solution was found. The solution was, was uh, sought after, and the solution is done. It found its solution, and the solution is now uh, uh, accomplished, I guess you can say, if you wanted to. What do we do next? What do we do next? Do we go back to the Mustang and do some body work or are we going to keep working on this? What we're going to do is we're going to keep working on this because now, now we got to find the solutions for hooking up our remote entry door systems, uh, fucking relays and, and power units and all that, which go basically right there under the dash 
And uh, yeah, we gotta get all that in. We got another problem. We got a convertible car here that we have to put a wiper on. A fucking wiper has to be put on this. Um, should I go to the extent of getting the specialty wiper system that has two wipers? Or, or should I try to figure out using one fucking wiper and being done with it? It's a fucking situation that says, where's the fucking solutions? The solutions are there right behind your fucking back. They're, they're in the corners hiding. Uh, it's, it's a matter of time, a matter of, uh, of manipulation, you might say, a matter of, of figuring it out and, and sitting down and getting the scruples together to find the scrabbles and, and taking the words and letters and putting them together to literally make something that's going to work. And that's basically what my friend Pete's doing right here, uh, getting it done, doing it right, and making sure that all the scruples and scrabbles are, uh, you know, uh, uh, put in the pan, mixed up together, and come out cooked and ready to go. <sighs> Big situation it is. Big fucking situation. But we're getting it done. Did we get it done in four days? No, we did not fucking get it done in four days. Uh, you might as well throw the fucking four days in the trash because four days never fucking happened over here. So sooner or later, this car will be running and driving. It will be running. We actually got the wheels for it. We got wheels and tires. Uh, thank God we ordered those way back when. Uh, beautiful wheels and tires that we do have for it. Uh, I'm excited to see the wheels and tires on here, but not today. Not today, because we still got wiring and hooking up to do before all that happens. You know, speaking of wheels, we still got to get all the fucking brakes working on this bitch. Um, crawling on our back under the car. Uh, kneeling on our knees in the car. Uh, leaning over the motor uh, on the car. It's, it's a lot of fucking shit going on, but we're going to get it done. Uh, it's late. I am going to close the shop down. Um, I've been working since 4.45 this morning. It is now uh, 6 o'clock at night, and there is no wind blowing, and it's about 104 degrees with the humidity. Closing it down. I'm going home, and I'll be back tomorrow morning, bright and early, as we open the shop up to finish our 1934 Cabriolet convertible kit car and hopefully get one more step closer to the chaos of the situation that's going on. I'm sorry, there's a car sitting behind the camera there looking at me. It's a car that says, when are you gonna start working on me, my friend Pete? You know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, this is our muscle car makeover. This is a makeover. This is not a restoration. All we're doing to this baby is we're cleaning all the body work up. We're, we're freshening it up. We're gonna change all the rubber out on it, this, that, and there. But it, it's gotta be done. It's, it's a it's a thing that says, hey, I'm thrown into the scrabbles. I'm thrown into the scruples. When are we gonna get this one done? Bitch, motherfucker, bitch. At least this one isn't as uh, technical as uh, the 34 convertible. At least that. And hopefully, uh, keep working on it until we get her done. Hopefully. so much fucking work going on here it's ridiculous it's sunday fucking morning all right what, what we got going here is we got to get this wire harness see this is a situation that says i got way too much fucking work in here way too many jobs going on and i'm trying to bust this shit out we got the owner coming over here tomorrow he's not going to be fucking happy larry yeah what do you think i don't think so either but i'm working on it by myself larry i don't have nobody else working on it okay i mean you just happen to show up because you're working on your fucking lawnmowers or you know, lawnmower king guy that you are, riding lawnmower shit, tinker toy crap. By the way, I was going to ask about your lawnmowers. Uh, you were supposed to get these lawnmowers running in the springtime so we can use them to mow the lawn out of the shop. We've only mowed the lawn one fucking time, Larry. I mowed it twice. There's no way. I mowed it twice. There's no way. Every time you pull that piece of shit out, it's fucking broke down. Hold the wires, Larry. Thank you. That's why I'm in control here, dude. Because I don't know what the fuck you'd be doing if you were handling this operation. Now, let me ask you this, Larry. Can you get the wiring out of the way, please? I gotta wire, I gotta drill the, you know, hold that thing out of the way, dude. There you go. All right. We're gonna go ahead and put the wire harness on this side this time instead of over there. We're gonna run all our wires up on top instead of coming down the bottom, and then there's a spot in there for the wires that come from the back to go up inside there, dude. Works good to me. Okay. <laughs> So we got a lot of shit going on, Larry. A lot. Too much. Yeah. 
I mean, now we got we got a collision, a hail job in there. We got to get it done. I'm trying to get this bitch done. Uh, you know, we started this little video set out. How y'all doing over there? Uh, we started this out as I was closing my shop down for four fucking days to work on this only. Yeah. Because you and me went to Lake Havasu, remember that? Yeah. We built that guy's car, what was it, four days, five days? Yep. I mean, we did everything but wire the car up. Yep. Right? So I figured, well, maybe if I close my shop down for four days, maybe my friend Pete can bust it out in four days. Well, with all the other shit going on, that ain't happening. So this is about a month fucking later, Larry. Hold the wires, dude. Look. There you go. Grab that. And there you go. Now grab. All right. Hold it right there. We're gonna swing it in here. I can't see Larry with the. Okay. Hold on. So what I was thinking is, you know, I'd go ahead and close my shop down uh, because you and me went out to Lake Havasu, Arizona, and built one of these bitches in four or five days together. Uh, I mean, you were the helper guy. I was the main guy. But the situation is, we got it done. Yep. And that's the real fucking deal here. But uh, the other situation is, is that uh, uh, other obstacles have came into view, such as a Chevelle, and, and, uh, and we got a wreck 34th Street. We, we got this fucking, mu we got two Mustangs going on, Larry. Uh, we got the Mustang, I don't know if you remember that Mustang. Uh, the Mustang I'm talking about is the 69 Mustang. Do you remember that Mustang, Larry? I remember that one. Okay, you aren't saying much, Larry. I'm listening. You're not talking. I can't talk Keep to holding you. the wire. Don't let go, but here we go. You ready? Wham, bam. Yeah. Okay, there. Now you bring everybody up to speed. Okay, so now we got the wire box. Now what we got to do is take our wires and run all the fucking wires that way on the top, dude. Yep. So they're out of the way. Is that going to be an obstruction for what the fuck else is going on here, though, Larry? That's the problem we have, dude. You aren't really, you know, are you awake today? It's Sunday, dude. I'm going down to work on my, okay. on my lawnmower. Yeah, get those lawnmowers running because guess what? Guess what happened, Larry? It rained. Were you even awake this morning? Yes. It fucking rained about nine feet, dude. Okay? Oh, did Why would you work on lawnmowers after it just rained? Flash flood fucking Dallas rain. We're not raining. We're not going to be mowing lawn tomorrow. As a matter of fact, Minnie already mowed the lawn. She's already hand mowed it. Did you see me mow it yesterday? Okay, where did you mow it? Where? Down in the back. Okay, I ain't. I, that ain't ah. the, back. But the thing is, the city doesn't give a fuck about the back. It's the front that counts, the front. Larry. It's already the been front. Maybe came over here on Tuesday and busted her ass, mowed it by hand, Larry. Well, that's good. All right, what do you think about our coop here, dude? Let's walk around now. Look what we got here, Larry. We got the 67, 69 Chevelle. We got to get a, a, a nice, good. Uh, uh, makeover going on this bitch. All right, come on over here, Larry. Let's walk around there. I want to get your opinion what the real situation is. Now we got this cocksucker in here. This is a collision job. This is a fiberglass kit car. The wheel fell off it. He almost flipped and rolled the car. But now we're in the process of fixing this bitch. All right, now come on over here. Come on over here, Larry. Okay, look what we got here. We got the 69 Mach 1. All right? Oh, yeah. Now we're doing the bodywork on this. This is basically an on frame ro restoration. Uh, it could be a rotisserie restoration if we wanted it to be, but since it's a unibody car, why should we put it on the rotisserie when everything else is already in good condition? That right, sounds good. All right, hey, but the thing good. is, this is a domino effect car. Let me show you why. Come on over here, Larry. Okay, because now that we got the bodywork on the outside done, look what the fuck I found in here, dude. Wow. Somebody had cut a big giant hole in the bottom of the door, uh, obviously to put a speaker or something. So now, uh, what I got to do is I got to fabricate that and fix that, okay? You see what I'm saying? That, that looks like a pretty good job. Okay, and then after that, so we open the deck lid up to do the body work on that. Uh, of course, there's rust in the corners here. I had to weld that up, cut that. But now I don't want to open it underneath right here. Underneath right in this area here is rotted out. Wow. Now I got to fix that, Larry. Now we're over here to this side and trying to get her done. But we're not done there, Larry. Okay, wow. we're not done there. Come on, buddy. Over here. Okay, then we got the truck, dude. The infamous red piece of shit, fucking hardcore uh, farmer guy. This is my grandpa's truck, fucking truck. That hopefully is going to be out here within the next week and a half. Been here got three it. fucking years, Larry. I, that's why I okay. wonder why in the heck's been here three years. Because it's this ongoing situation of called automobile restoration, Larry. People don't oh, understand. Man. This is how long it fucking takes. I saw on TV it only took a week to do these. Things. Really, really. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's go in. Let's let's crawl inside the TV and see what the real fucking action is behind the scenes on that one. But yeah, those guys yeah. know how to do it right, P. And then of course, Larry, look what we got here. We got the Carmen Gia. Of course, he was here after everybody else, but he's ahead of the game more than anybody else. So we're gonna have to put his on hold. 
uh, until further notice. Yeah. And then besides that, we got this little miscellaneous bullshit here, which I shouldn't have took that job and I shouldn't have fucking took it in. But being the nice guy that Pete is, he did. It's right. All right. That's good. That's good, huh, Larry? Is that a good fucking deal? More business? Yeah, sure. More business and more hard fucking work. Seven days a week ain't enough over here, Larry. All right, so that's the situation we have. Now we got Larry over here holding wire harnesses and you know, tinker toying around. He said that he's gonna go out and work on his fucking lawnmowers while my friend Pete still works inside on the 34 Ford convertible. So Larry now, he's saying that he's working outside uh, in the air conditioning and while I'm sweating my nutsack off inside. Is that what you just said, Larry? No, I said you're working in the air conditioner. Oh yeah, right. I don't see no fucking air conditioners in my building. I'm, I'm in the uh, rain out there. Show me an air conditioner in here and then I'll agree with you. Well, when it's 30 degrees outside, Pete, it's air conditioning. Yeah, well, it's August, Larry. It's fucking August over here. It's 130 degrees in this bitch. We got to go. This is Pete working on the cars, working on the four-day closed-down project and uh, into it another fucking month. We'll be back. What's the problem, Larry? What's going on? Got a low tire on this side. Okay. So you're mowing the lawn with flat tires, huh? Yeah. Wow. Is this the dog we're talking about? Is this the lawnmower? Huh? What's going on with this lawnmower? Lawnmower. It is? Yeah. It's more like he's out trying to be a 4x4 mud dog than he is mowing lawn. By the looks of that tire, it looks like he's trying to be a mud slinger and be a redneck Texan guy than actually doing anything about mowing lawns. I think he just really actually has fun riding them. And it's like bringing back the childhood memories of when he was a little child, when he first learned how to drive. Okay, so you got the air thing to put air in your tire? Yeah. To get back on your lawnmower and go riding? Yep. Is this a, would this be like like when you were a little kid and you used to go on your Sunday drives with yep. dad, mom and dad? Yep, we used to get on our lawnmower. Sunday, Sunday motor drives. We get on our lawnmower, drive around the yard. Oh. That's all we had to do. Yeah. Did you have a big yard mow when you were a little kid? Or? No, we just enjoyed riding around the yard. Okay. What about 80 pounds and that 100 pounds, dude? That's not enough, Larry. That's only about 20 pounds. Fill that bitch up where it's hard as a rock. A little higher than that. God, dude. What, I thought you went and got a brand new inner tube for that. It's on the other side. So now you need one for that one? Probably. Wow. What about them big dog, uh, 4x4 big dog tires in the back? I thought that was a dual action uh, uh, traction job going on. It's not, huh? No. Huh. It's just a two-wheel drive jobby going. A no, one-wheel drive. Yeah. Okay. I got work to do over here, Larry. Let's get something done with you. I ain't got time to babysit, bud. I got work to do, too. Then let's go. You know, this is Sunday. I'd like to be left alone so at least I can get something done. Me too. So as we see Mr. Tinker Toyer Hobby Guy waving to us goodbye, we see that he puts his little lawnmower in gear and uh, clutches it down to get her going. Why are you lowering that, dude? You're not mowing the concrete, Larry. What the fuck? Why are you mowing the concrete, Larry? Okay, now he's being smart ass. Son of a bitch almost hit me in the face. Okay. Stand back here. I can't believe he doesn't even have a guard on that thing. Uh, that's real fucking good, Larry. Real fucking good there, bud. All right. We'll let Larry get back to mowing the backyard, and hopefully the lawnmower will break down, and he will have something else to tinker toy on. Larry, the lawnmower riding lawnmower guy, right here in the neighborhood as we at Southwest Rod and Custom continue to do the job that we're getting paid to do. That's definitely not watching Larry ride a fucking lawnmower.